I saw a band director the other day ask a question about recruitment posters and didn't really get a lot of response. I don't think a lot of people know a ton about this sort of thing and recruitment posters aren't utilized nearly as much as they should. I actually have done my fair share of kind of DIY graphic designing with posters and logos and other things. I worked at a concert venue and a lot of times we get sent really crappy images or some opening band would want to be on the poster and they didn't have a logo so I would just create something out of nowhere to try to help promote them. I think this day and age it's important to brand your program as much as possible and since you can literally make a high resolution logo for free, I mean literally minutes, I think it's well worth the time and I'm going to show you how to do that. And once you have a logo, I think that's when you can start working on posters because then you can have something you can put on every poster and it's the same every time and people around town, the kids, will all see that logo and they will know, oh, this is this school's music program. So the first thing I would do is figure out what you want to have sort of as the background of your image. If you want to have like a treble clef or you want to have an instrument, go to Google, type in let's see let's do treble clef transparent so what that will do is it'll pull up all these images and if you are not familiar with this sort of thing it, it's okay what you need to do is go to the image and if there's a white background and you click on it and you see this kind of checkered background behind it that means it's transparent one thing that you can that you probably should do Make sure there's no watermarks, something that's saying it's copyrighted. And if you still want to double check, you can go to the website itself, look around, see if you see anything that talks about paying. This looks like if it has a download option, then that means it's a free download. I recommend not downloading it from the website, but going back here, double clicking on that, put save as, and then save it name it keep it as a PNG if you switch it to like a JPEG or another file it may add a white background to it so I, I, I've already saved this so I'm just gonna cancel out of that now let's say you want to if if that works for you that's great if you want to do a background of let's say an instrument so let's do a type in again make sure you put transparent in there I'm gonna look at this first one okay uh, let's click on let's see is this a free download download full size I don't see anything about paying I don't see any watermarks so that's good so I'm going to right click on that save as go here it's still a PNG save that now the other thing let's say oh I like that angle Okay, now make sure if you see it looks real grainy along the image, that's not going to work very well for you when you're putting it into a logo. So I would skip any of those. Don't add those in. One thing you really need to do is just type in transparent image or transparent background. Try to find a big image. So this is pretty big. And you just need to save this because that's going to be kind of our background, our canvas, so to say, when we're doing this image. Okay, so now we're going to go here. We're going to go to Create. Uh, I've used Be Funky. I used uh, PicMonkey in the past, but then they started making you start an account and everything, so I stopped using them. Uh, I've found that you know, be funky works pretty well. And honestly, depending on how long it's been since this video, uh, you know, things might have changed and you might need to get something else. So, uh, but here's, I'm going to click on the background. So now here's my, my outline here. If I want to use like a treble clef or a bass clef, um, I can just, I can go to graphics, add own, and I can pull up one of these and I can use it easily. Now you can see that there's no white background to it, so that's good. Um, but let's say that that's easy. It's already black, and, you know, a solid color. So, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to do the trumpet. Let's say we're going to do this for your jazz band, and you want to have a trumpet as like your main image. So we're going to open that up. Okay, we got this trumpet here. Ooh, that kind of looks a little grainier than I thought it was going to. But none the matter, I think it should be okay. 
gonna go to ooh. Cut out here. Okay. Intensity. There we go. So you can do this uh, by just putting the intensity of the black all the way. So now you have a silhouette of an instrument. So that works really well. I've done now I know this kind of looks like other ones I've done before, so I'm I'm not claiming to be super creative, but if you want just something easy, this will work. So now I have that outline. Uh, this one, this program is really great because it's got a lot of different. Uh, it it outlines the text. Others don't do that as well, so this one will work really good. Let's say let's just make up some. Um, East Moore Junior High. Well, let's make that Junior. junior high. So I have this right here. Let's make this real big. Now it, it you can see kind of the background. There's this little shadow. Um, that is right here. You can just make that transparent. So now that's there's no problem. If the image in the back is is black, I would probably change these colors, switch these around, so that now it, it works. And you can even kind of overlay it a little because it'll outline. Um, let's see. I don't know how I really like this one yet. So let me let's do another one. This one's slightly different. Do that. Turn, change that to transparent. Now I'm going to do jazz ensemble. Add this in. Now, you may hate this. You may think, oh, that's terrible. Or you may think, hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. It's up to you. Um, you can mess with it. See if there's uh, something you like better. Maybe you know you want the instrument to be seen more. Maybe you just want you know these images to be more. Um, I recommend not making an image too tall or too wide uh, because. When you're putting it on a poster, if it's too tall, you're pretty limited in how you can do it. So, all right. So here's the image I have. Uh, I'm going to go to my save it. Make sure it's a PNG. I'm going to put East Moore Jazz Ensemble logo. Save there. Great. Now, if I need to, uh, another thing you might want to do is make a separate uh, image that is for uh, like a darker background. So I'm going to take this here. I'm going to change that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to switch it the other way. I'm probably one thing I think I found is turn down the intensity a little bit on those, uh, just because that harsh black sometimes is a little much for it. So 20% on that. Make sure you just do it consistent with your other text do 20 there we go save that to my computer e logo white save it all right so there we go so that's me using uh, be funky Again, maybe Pick Monkey has worked in the past. There's probably, from now till eternity, there will be a hundred other ones that come out. But that will at least get you started on a logo. Now let's move over to Canva, which has a lot of great templates and other things you can use. And we'll start using that to make a poster.